Now, before Hong Kong was handed back to Chinese rule 20 years ago, the city faced a huge exodus of residents. Many left because they didn't believe Beijing's promises that nothing much would change. Wei Du looks at whether it's delivered on those promises. When the handover happened in 1997, China was a very different place. Per capita GDP was less than $800, 3% of what it was in Hong Kong. The main concern of many Hong Kong people then was that after Hong Kong's return to China, Hong Kong could be reduced to an ordinary Chinese city in terms of our you know, standard of living. To allay that fear, Beijing pledged to preserve Hong Kong's capitalist system and way of life. That much it has delivered as China itself embraced free markets and profits. So now this is no longer the concern. And the city has not lost all of what is so jealously guarded in the last two decades. All year around, a follower of Falun Gong, a spiritual practice banned in mainland China, plants herself on one Chai's footbridge, handing out materials accusing Beijing of crimes against humanity. Just a few meters away with equal tenacity, her opponents try to expose what they call the dark conspiracy behind the Falun Gong cult. This confrontation on display here day after day is why some people say Hong Kong has not compromised its liberty. According to the Cato Institute, the city still tops the world in human freedom, though the American think tank cautions without democracy as a safeguard, Hong 